Chapter 5 Fractions Fractions A fraction is a part of a whole. Whole This is one whole. Half When a whole is divided into two equal parts, each part represents one half or one by two. One third When a whole is divided into three equal parts, each part represents one third or one by three. One fourth or quarter when a whole is divided into four equal parts, each part represents one fourth or one by four. Reading and writing fractions. Look at the given figure and read the fractions according to the shaded parts. Total parts is equal to five, shaded parts is equal to four. Therefore, fraction for the shaded part is four by five. In words, it is written as four fifth. In fraction, four by five, 4 is called the numerator and 5 is called the denominator. Types of fractions Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, children. What we will learn today? Today we will learn types of fractions. Do you know the types of fractions? No, ma'am. Okay, I will explain them to you. Let's start with like and unlike fractions. Like fractions have the same denominators and unlike fractions have the different denominators. For example, 3 by 4, 4 by 4, 8 by 4, 9 by 4, 1 by 4, etc. are like fractions. And 14 by 17, 9 by 12, 9 by 10, 3 by 6, 9 by 7, 1 by 14, etc. are unlike fractions. Ma'am, can we change unlike fractions into like fractions? Yes, of course. We can change unlike fractions into like fractions by making their denominators same. For example, change 2 by 9 and 5 by 6 into like fractions. First of all, make their denominators same. To make denominators same, we have to find a number which is divisible by both 9 and 6. Hence, we have to find the LCM of 9 and 6. The LCM of 9 and 6 is equal to 2 into 3 into 3 is equal to 18. So, 18 will be the common denominator. Divide the LCM by denominator of the given fraction. Multiply the numerator by the corresponding quotient. 18 divided by 9 multiplied by 2 whole divided by 18 and 18 divided by 6 multiplied by 5 whole divided by 18 is equal to 4 by 18 and 15 by 18. Therefore, 4 by 18 and 15 by 18 are the required like fractions. Proper and improper fractions. Proper fractions are less than one whole and improper fractions are more than one whole. For example, 9 by 10 is a proper fraction and 10 by 9 is an improper fraction. Unit fractions. A fraction in which the numerator is 1 is called a unit fraction. For example, 1 by 2 and 1 by 9 are unit fractions. Mixed fractions. A fraction which has a whole number and a proper fraction is called a mixed fraction. For example, 2, 3 by 4 is a mixed fraction in which 2 is the whole number or integral part and 3 by 4 is the fractional part. Changing an improper fraction as mixed fraction. For example, write 37 by 5 as mixed number. Solution. Divide the numerator by denominator and write the quotient as whole number and remainder as the numerator and the divisor as the denominator. So, 37 by 5 is equal to 7, 2 by 5. Changing a mixed number into an improper fraction. For example, change 2, 3 by 4 into improper fraction. Solution. Multiply the whole number by the denominator. Write the denominator as it is. So, 2, 3 by 4 is equal to 2 multiplied by 4 plus 3 whole divided by 4 is equal to 11 by 4. Equivalent fractions. Two fractions are said to be equivalent if the product of the numerator of the first and denominator of the second is equal to the product of the denominator of the first and the numerator of the second. Numerator of first fraction into denominator of the second fraction is equal to numerator of the second fraction into denominator of the first fraction. For example, 
5 by 15 and 1 by 3 are equivalent fractions as 5 by 15 cross multiplied by 1 by 3 is equal to 5 into 3 is equal to 15 and 15 into 1 is also equal to 15. Hence, 5 by 15 and 1 by 3 are equivalent fractions. Building equivalent fractions To get equivalent of any given fraction, we multiply the numerator and the denominator by a common number other than 0 or 1. For example, find 4 equivalent fractions of 1 by 2. On multiplying the numerator and denominator of 1 by 2 by 2, we get the new fraction as 2 by 4. On multiplying the numerator and denominator of 1 by 2 by 3, we get the new fraction as 3 by 6. On multiplying the numerator and denominator of 1 by 2 by 4, we get the new fraction as 4 by 8. On multiplying the numerator and denominator of 1 by 2 by 5, we get the new fraction as 5 by 10. Hence, 1 by 2, 2 by 4, 3 by 6, 4 by 8, and 5 by 10 are equivalent fractions. We also get the equivalent of a fraction by dividing the numerator and denominator by a common number. For example, find three equivalent fractions of 8 by 16. On dividing the numerator and denominator of 8 by 16 by 2, we get the new fraction as 4 by 8. On dividing the numerator and denominator of 8 by 16 by 4, we get the new fraction as 2 by 4. On dividing the numerator and denominator of 8 by 16 by 8, we get the new fraction as 1 by 2. Finding equivalent fractions with given denominator or numerator 1. To get an equivalent fraction of a higher numerator or denominator, we multiply the numerator and the denominator of the given fraction by the same number other than 0 or 1. Here, we need to find the equivalent fraction of 3 upon 5. The given denominators are 5 and 15. 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. So, 3 multiplied by 3 upon 5 multiplied by 3 is equal to 9 upon 15. This implies 3 upon 5 is equal to 9 upon 15. Now, we need to find the equivalent fraction of 2 upon 3. The given numerators are 2 and 18. 18 divided by 2 is equal to 9. So, 2 multiplied by 9 upon 3 multiplied by 9 is equal to 18 upon 27. This implies 2 upon 3 is equal to 18 upon 27. 2. To get an equivalent fraction of a lower numerator or denominator, we divide the numerator and the denominator of the given fraction by the same number other than 0 or 1. Here, we need to find the equivalent fraction of 24 upon 28. The given numerators are 6 and 24. 24 divided by 6 is equal to 4. So, 24 divided by 4 upon 28 divided by 4 is equal to 6 upon 7. Therefore, 24 upon 28 is equal to 6 upon 7. Next, we need to find the equivalent fraction of 18 upon 24. The given denominators are 24 and 4. 24 divided by 4 is equal to 6. So, 18 divided by 6 upon 24 divided by 6 is equal to 3 upon 4. Therefore, 18 upon 24 is equal to 3 upon 4. Fractions reducing to the lowest terms a fraction is in its lowest terms when the numerator has no common factor except one look at the figures shown below the shaded parts show the fractions 1 by 2 2 by 4 and 4 by 8 
Here, the fraction 1 by 2, 2 by 4 and 4 by 8 are all equivalent fractions. But 1 by 2 is in its lowest terms. Keep dividing the numerator and denominator by one of their common factors till no further division is possible. Divide the numerator and denominator by the HCF. For example, reduce the fraction 8 by 16 to the lowest term. Solution, we can reduce it in the following two methods. Method 1, Method 2. Thus, 8 by 16 can be reduced to 1 by 2. Comparing and ordering of fractional numbers. When the numerator is same, then the fractional number that has smaller denominator is greater. For example, 1 by 2 is greater than 1 by 3, which is greater than 1 by 4. When the denominator is same, then the fractional number that has greater numerator is greater. For example, 3 by 4 is greater than 2 by 4, which is greater than 1 by 4. When the numerator and denominator both are different, then we convert unlike fractions with different numerators into like fractions by finding the LCM of the denominator. For example, arrange the fractions 2 by 3, 9 by 10, 7 by 8 and 3 by 4 in ascending order. Here, the denominators are 3, 10, 8 and 4. Thus, LCM of 3, 10, 8 and 4 is equal to 120. Therefore, 2 by 3 is equal to 2 into 40 divided by 3 into 40 is equal to 80 by 120. 9 by 10 is equal to 9 into 12 divided by 10 into 12 is equal to 108 by 120. 7 by 8 is equal to 7 into 15 divided by 8 into 15 is equal to 105 by 120. And 3 by 4 is equal to 3 into 30 divided by 4 into 30 is equal to 90 by 120. We find that 80 by 120 is less than 90 by 120 is less than 105 by 120 is less than 108 by 120. Or we can say 2 by 3 is less than 3 by 4 is less than 7 by 8 is less than 9 by 10. Addition and subtraction of fractions. In class 4, we have learned to add and subtract fractional numbers. Let's recapitulate what we have learned earlier. Addition of fractions when the denominators are same. For example, add 2 by 5 and 4 by 5. Solution. 2 by 5 plus 4 by 5 is equal to 2 plus 4 whole divided by 5 is equal to 6 by 5. Addition of fractions when the denominators are different. For example, add 3 by 5 and 7 by 8. Solution. First of all, find the LCM of 5 and 8, which is equal to 40. So, 3 by 5 into 8 by 8 is equal to 24 by 40 and 7 by 8 into 5 by 5 is equal to 35 by 40. Thus, 24 by 40 plus 35 by 40 is equal to 59 by 40. Adding mixed fractions. For example, add 3, 1 by 5 and 2, 1 by 10. Solution. First of all, convert all mixed fractions into improper fractions. 3, 1 by 5 is equal to 16 by 5 and 2, 1 by 10 is equal to 21 by 10. Now, find the LCM of 5 and 10 which is equal to 10. 16 by 5 into 2 by 2 is equal to 32 by 10 and 21 by 10. 32 by 10 plus 21 by 10 is equal to 53 by 10 is equal to 5, 3 by 10. Subtraction of fractions when the denominators are same. For example, subtract 2 by 5 from 4 by 5. Solution, 4 by 5 minus 2 by 5 is equal to 2 by 5. Subtraction of fractions when the denominators are different. For example, find the difference between 5 by 6 and 7 by 12. Solution. The LCM of 6 and 12 is equal to 12. So, 5 by 6 into 2 by 2 is equal to 10 by 12 and 7 by 12. Subtract smaller fraction from bigger fraction. 10 by 12 minus 7 by 12 is equal to 3 by 12 which can be simplified to 1 by 4. Subtraction of mixed fractions. For example, by how much is 8? 1 by 6 less than 10. 5 by 12. Solution. 8 1 by 6 is equal to 49 by 6, 
and 10 5 by 12 is equal to 125 by 12. The LCM of 6 and 12 is equal to 12. 49 by 6 into 2 by 2 is equal to 98 by 12 and 125 by 12. Subtract smaller fraction from bigger fraction. 125 by 12 minus 98 by 12 is equal to 125 minus 98 whole divided by 12 is equal to 27 by 12 which can be simplified to 9 by 4 which is equal to 2 1 by 4. Multiplication of fractions. We know that the multiplication is repeated addition. Example, Parul made sandwiches for 12 people. When they shared it equally, each of them got 1 upon 2 of the sandwich. How many sandwiches did Parul make? Solution. Repeated addition. If we add 1 upon 2 up to 12 times, we get 12 upon 2 is equal to 6. Or multiplication. 1 upon 2 multiplied by 12 is equal to 6. So, Parul made 6 sandwiches. Parul then poured out a few bottles of Pepsi equally among the 12 people. Each of them got 3 upon 4 of a glass. How many bottles of Pepsi did Parul use? Repeated addition. If we add 3 upon 4 up to 12 times, we get 36 upon 4 is equal to 9 or multiplication 3 upon 4 multiplied by 12 is equal to 9. So, Parul used 9 bottles of Pepsi. Would you like to still continue adding or would you rather multiply? As from the above examples, we get that multiplication is faster. Multiplication of a fractional number by a whole number. Rules. If the fraction is a mixed fraction, convert it into improper fraction. Product of fraction and a whole number is equal to product of numerator of fraction and whole number divided by denominator of fraction. Always write the answer as a mixed fraction if it is not a proper fraction or whole number. For example, 3 by 4 multiplied by 15 is equal to 3 multiplied by 15 by 4 is equal to 45 by 4 is equal to 11, 1 by 4. Now, find the product of 4, 1 by 2 and 3, 4 by 2 is equal to 9 by 2 and 9 by 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 9. Multiplied by 3 whole divided by 2 is equal to 27 by 2 is equal to 13, 1 by 2. Multiplication of a fraction by another fraction. Rules. Change mixed fraction into improper fraction. Product of two fractions is equal to product of numerators by product of denominators. Reduce numerator and denominator to the lowest term. The answer should always be a whole number, a mixed fraction or a proper fraction and never an improper fraction. The same rule can be applied for multiplying any number or fraction. For example, 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 3 is equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 3 is equal to 1 by 6. Let's look at some more example. For example, 2 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 3 is equal to 5 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 3 is equal to 5 multiplied by 1 whole divided by 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 5 by 6. And 4, 1 by 3 multiplied by 2, 1 by 5 is equal to 13 by 5 multiplied by 11 by 5 is equal to 13 multiplied by 11 whole divided by 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to 143 by 15 is equal to 9, 8 by 15. Properties of multiplication of fractional numbers. Changing the order of fractional numbers does not change the product. For example, 2 by 3 multiplied by 7 by 5 is equal to 2 multiplied by 7 whole divided by 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to 14 by 15 and 7 by 5 multiplied by 2 by 3 is equal to 7 multiplied by 2 whole divided by 5 multiplied by 3 is equal to 14 by 15. This means 2 by 3 multiplied by 7 by 5 is equal to 
7 by 5 multiplied by 2 by 3. A fraction multiplied by 1 is the fraction itself. For example, 8 by 9 multiplied by 1 is equal to 8 by 9. Multiplied by 1 is equal to product of 8 and 1 divided by product of 9 is equal to 8 by 9. The product of a fraction and 0 is 0. For example, 14 by 23 multiplied by 0 is equal to 14 by 23 multiplied by 0 by 1 is equal to product of 14 and 0 divided by product of 23 and 1 is equal to 0 by 23 is equal to 0. Multiplicative inverse To find the multiplicative inverse of a proper or improper fraction, interchange the numerator and denominator. To find the reciprocal of a mixed fraction or whole number, first change it into an improper fraction, then interchange the numerator and denominator. Example 1 1 upon 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to 1. Example 2 3 upon 4 multiplied by 4 upon 3 is equal to 1. From the above two examples, we see that when the product of two fractional numbers is equal to 1, then the numerator of first is the denominator of the second. The denominator of the first is the numerator of the second. Each number in these pairs is called the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal of the other. Important facts. The reciprocal of a proper fraction is an improper fraction. For example, reciprocal of 5 by 18 is 18 by 5. The reciprocal of an improper fraction is a proper fraction. For example, reciprocal of 15 upon 4 is 4 upon 15. The reciprocal of a whole number except 0 will always have a numerator 1. That is, it will be a unit fraction. For example, reciprocal of 90 is 1 by 90. The multiplicative inverse of 1 is 1. The multiplicative inverse of 0 cannot be found. Division of fractional numbers. Today we will learn about division of fractions. Let's start it with division of a fraction by a whole number. Fraction divided whole number is equal to fraction into reciprocal of whole number. Now we know reciprocals and division of fractional numbers are very simple. For example, 1 by 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1 by 3 multiplied by 1 by 3 is equal to 1 by 9. Here, we have replaced the division symbol by multiplication symbol and the whole number by its reciprocal. Division of a fractional number. For example, 1 by 3 divided by 2 by 5 is equal to 1 by 3 multiplied by 5 by 2 is equal to 5 by 6. Division of a whole number by a fractional number. Whole number divided by fractional number is equal to whole number into reciprocal of the fractional number. For example, 4 divided by 1 by 3 is equal to 4 multiplied by 3 is equal to 12. Properties of division. When a fractional number is divided by 1, the quotient is the fraction itself. For example, 2 by 3 divided by 1 is equal to 2 by 3 multiplied by 1 by 1 is equal to 2 by 3. When 0 is divided by a fraction, the quotient is 0. For example, 0 divided by 7 by 9 is equal to 0 multiplied 9 by 7 is equal to 0. When any fraction is divided by itself, the quotient is 1. For example, 19 by 21 divided by 19 by 21 is equal to 19 by 21 multiplied by 21 by 19 is equal to 1. Word problems. Example, 4 upon 7 of a number is 84. Find the number. Solution, 4 upon 7 of a number is equal to 84. Number is equal to 84 divided by 4 upon 7 is equal to 84 multiplied by 7 upon 4 is equal to 147. Thus, the required number is 147. Example, Manu reads two-fifths of 80 pages of his lesson. 
how many more pages he should read to complete the lesson. Solution Number of pages Manu reads is equal to 2 upon 5 of 80 is equal to 2 upon 5 multiplied by 80 is equal to 32 pages. Number of pages Manu has to read is equal to 80 minus 32 is equal to 48 pages. Thus, Manu has to read 48 more pages to complete the lesson.